Hey YouTube, me Peter here, the Master of Puppets, back from the Wacken Festival in Germany. Guys, it was fucking awesome, and this is just like a short vlog slash beer mail video of some of the beers that I got down there, and uh, some glasses that I got. It was an awesome festival, and I'm definitely going last year, or oh, next year. This is like the wristband. Um, yeah, you can hear my voice is pretty cracked up from singing, but... Um, yeah, let's just get going. Um, I got, first of all, I got two. All of them are plastic, but I can use them for the reviews since they're clear. Um, this is a Weizen glass. I got two of those. Um, Vacan Heavy Metal Towns is here, and then just Skull Metal Heads. It's pretty cool. Um, and I got a lot. Oh, for the thickness, I got a one liter mug, plastic mug. It says the same here. It's like I bought a little. I don't know. If, um, I don't. I don't have it on me, but a small hanger for it. So I. I it hung in my belt strap, and then I got some shaker glasses. Since I don't really have any shaker glasses at all, um, this is the first glass I got, uh, which is just the spirit of heavy metal, vacuum open air, faster, harder, louder, and all of them has this Bex vacuum open air logo on the back. Then I also got this sick. <laughs> Black metal with upside down crosses. I, I, seriously, guys, I, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I just brought it home for fun because I, I, it's pretty sick. Like upside down crosses. I, I, I do not really like black metal. And then I got this one, which is pretty cool. And it says VOA or Bucket Open Air. Metal and beer, that's why I'm here. That's, that's pretty cool. And then this one Bucket Cow Cup. Skull Metalheads it says here inhabitors 1850 Metalheads 75,000 and cows 4,000 and then there's a cow here and then the stage that's a marsh pit actually shot some crazy footage of a marsh pit marsh pit and then the last one is this awesome one called Born to Bang which is really cool but now to the beer yeah let's get cracking now this is the beer that I bought down at the festival and uh, at the Danish German border shops. Um, the first one I bought was this one, which is an official Wacken beer. This is the Wackinger beer, which is the beer you drank in the Viking village. Um, I don't really know which beer, uh, the type of beer it is, because I haven't really gotten around to checking that out. And I actually reviewed it on Vakin, but I was really drunk, so the review turned out pretty funny. But I'm gonna upload it anyways, and then I'm probably gonna do a proper review of this as well. Uh, yeah. It wasn't that good. It, really, it was it was a honey beer, it brewed with honey, and it's like too, way too much honey in the taste at the end. Oh my god, my voice is <laughs> horrible. Uh, and then I got this, the official Vakin beer, which is a lager. Um, I think it's just an alias of the Flensburger Pilsner, which is an okay Pilsner. It's not the best beer in the world, but um, it's, it's, I'm not sure. I think it's that one. I'm not sure about the 2010 version here, but it was all right. It was really nice when it was really hot because all our beers we had in our tent. It was like Tuborg Classic and some Danish beer called Royal Beers, and they were all insanely warm. So <laughs> they were not that nice to drink, but we drank them anyways, you know? Save some money, but then it was nice to sometimes buy. They had like a supermarket, which was really cool. And I regret now I, I didn't really shoot that many vlogs of like supermarket uh, supermarkets markets and stuff. But that, that was like a supermarket on the festival grounds, like a big tent where you can get cold beer and soda and all kinds of provisions. Then I got a range of German beers. Well, let's start with this one. Uh, all almost all of them has got this cool flip top cap. This is the. Altenmünster Brauerbier, Hopfig Herb. I have no idea what type of beer this is. I'm pretty sure it's a lager. Yeah, it's a pretty cool bottle. Uh, yeah. Next beer. Uh, this is a couple of beers I bought from the Münchhof Brewery in Germany, which makes some okay, some solid beers. This is a, a Keller beer, Münchhof Keller beer. Also a flip top. It's also a type of lager. And then another Münchhof beer, this is the Schwarzbier, uh, which is actually pretty good Schwarzbier as far as I recall. Uh, yeah, also a flipped up beer. The next one was the 
Munchhof Buck beer. And all of these Munchhof beers I've actually already had, except the Killer beer. There's an okay Buck beer as well, or a Buck, regular Buck. Then I got uh, this one, which I really love the label on this one. Two uh, deer fighting. How's it? It's called um, Hirsch. Uh, here's here's by double here's, which is a double buck, uh, and uh, yeah, it's like uh, the store really had a really really bad selection of of craft beer, so th this was like only craft beer they had that I couldn't get at home. Then I bought an Alt beer, which there's not a lot of people who review Alt beer Alt beer on YouTube. It's the Duxtein Rot Blondes Alt beer, which is an okay Alt beer. I've had it once. Uh, it's been a while, so I don't really remember how it was. But now to the really, really cool thing. The beer mail. Beer mail number one. It's actually not the first beer mail I ever got. Because I actually had one before. Uh, from an interview from England who sent me a really, really fantastic uh, Imperial Stout. Uh, called Old Chimney's Good King Henry Special Reserve. This one is from the Schneider Weisse Brewery in Germany. They actually contacted me. They have seen had seen my uh, review of their Tap 5 or Tap 5 Hopfenweise and they like re really loved it and posted it on their website and their Facebook page, fan page. So um, like, I contacted them and like, said thank you for the kind words and such. And I, I told them that I already reviewed the beers I got from the brewery uh, and if they would be able to send me some of their other beers. And they were like, sure man, we, we, we really love your reviews. So uh, thank you to Stefan Butz, which was the guy I contacted. And I'm gonna open it here with my big like <laughs> serial killer knife. Uh, let's get it open here. I'll just place the camera for a second, guys. Yeah, let's crack it open. As I say all the time. Oh my god, I'm so amazed at how much my voice is cracked up. Really, this is pretty sick. Oh, uh, yeah. I was like, I was really amazed that the brewery contacted me. That was cool. And I have no idea, I think that's just like some of their other range of beers. and. All of them beers have now been renamed to Tap Something. Let's open it and see what's inside. Wow, that is some heavy packaging. Oh my god. Wow, that's a lot of beer, man. Wow. Thank you very much already. Okay, let's take this out first. Oh, that's cool, man. That's the... Um, the uh, Schneider um, Aventinas glass. I actually already had one of those, but I unfortunately broke it. Thank you very much, man. That's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, let's check it out. The next one, this is what? Tap 2. Meine Kristall. Okay. Eine Kristallweisen. And there's two of those, I see. Actually, pretty good wrapping uh, done here. Yeah, two of the Kristall. Uh, what else? Tap one is here as well. Mein Blondes. I think it has two of each beer, by the way. Um, oh yeah, that looks nice. I have no idea. I, I think it's all wheat beers. Uh, yeah, that's a blonde as well. Blondes. Mein Blondes. Then tap four, here it says. Mein Grünes. Ah, oh, yeah. That's the one that's been renamed from... What? Schneider Weiss Edelweiss, I think. Which I've... Only had once on uh, on tap at a local pub called the Wharf, and it was like really really good. Um, yeah, there's one more of these as well. Oh my God, this is awesome, guys! Um, whoa, very nice. The uh, Aventinos Weitz Nice Buck. Cool. That's, I've had this one before as well, and that's a really really good ice buck. Really good buck beer. That's. One there, and that's all of it. That was fucking awesome. Thank you very much to the guys at um, Schneider. That's all the beer I got right now from Germany. So that's a lot of beer to review. Um, along with the glasses up there. I'm gonna be in a hurry now because I'm running quite long, guys. It was an awesome festival. I'm gonna upload some 
video from it soon. And um, yeah, that's it. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you guys in another beer review.